Okay, gonna have a quick look at how to um, put some uh, countertops onto these cabinet bases and then um, edit them so we can have different surface finishes on them. So uh, these are just straight out of the um, components library. It's a very basic room, I've just dumped them in the middle. So um, what I wanna do is I wanna make some different materials and then I'm gonna put the, the tops on here and show you how you can change them around. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a look at um, actually getting some countertops. Now, there's some that come in the library already, but if you actually wanna make your own, these ones here, all I've done is I've gone onto Google and I've done a search and I've basically found some images. I, I just did a, a, a search for Google images on countertops. So I've renamed them countertop and then whatever it's made of, beach, cherry, marble, white marble and so on. I'm gonna put those into the same place where Revit keeps all of its textures. You don't have to do this, but it makes finding things much easier later. So uh, the pathway for that is inside C drive, there's something called Program Files 86. You go into there. In there, you've got one which is called um, Common Files. Inside Common Files, we've got one called Autodesk Shared. And inside Autodesk Shared, we've got Materials. And in this case, we're looking at Textures. Okay, we've got a bunch of them to choose from. I'm just going to put in the first one. So if I open that one up, go inside Mats, and there's a whole bunch. These are, these are ones I've actually put in myself before for doing carpets, but I can dump mine in here. Now, the ones you'll see that I've called them Countertop um, so I can find them alphabetically after. So I'm going to copy all of those. And I'm just going to drag them over to here and say copy. Um, I already did it before, so I've replaced them. So they're in that file now. Okay, I don't need this anymore. Okay, so I want to make my materials now. So I'm going to come into um, my Revit. I'm going to click on the Manage tab. And I'm going to choose Materials. Now in the window that opens, what I want to do is I want to find something that's going to be uh, a similar type material. So I found the easiest thing to do is to search for something like wood. And I'm just going to pick one of these. Now what I'm looking for is when I click on them, that I get this Identity Graphics and Appearance tab. And if I click on Appearance, I've got this facility to click on the image that is re being represented for that material. So this one, Cherry, would work. Um, door panel would work. So I could choose either of these. There's actually one called Oak Flooring that would work. So I'll, I'll come up to Oak Flooring. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to hit Duplicate. Okay, now it's created a second version. Now that the thing you've got to be really careful of is where this hand is, so I'm on the appearance tab, where the hand is, there's a one, which basically means it's sharing this asset with something else. I don't want it sharing with anything else because that means that if I change one, it changes the other, and I want it to stay independent. So I'm gonna click here to say, duplicate this asset, which is a strange phrase, but it basically makes a zero go here. That now means that this oak floor and oak floor one are separate entities, and that's what I want. Okay, but I want to make it into something different. So I'm going to click on the Identity tab. I don't want it called Oak Floor in One. I'm going to call it Countertop. And this first one, I'm going to make Beach. So it's going to be made from the wood Beach. So not with a three in it. Countertop Beach. And you'll see that that name changes here now. So in the Graphics tab, I just need to make sure I've clicked this Use Render Appearance. That means it will use the image file when it tries to render um, my work. I'm going to click Appearance. In appearance now, I want to change from this oak, and I want to go to my one. So I've put one in. I need to find the one that I put in, which was under C for counters. So countertop beach, there it is. I'm going to select that one and open. And it's now replaced the image with my image. Um, I've got a few other things I can change, whether it's furniture or flooring or what kind of varnish, uh, if it's unfinished, no varnish, and so on. And that'll make it look different, but that's up to you how you do that. You've also got a few other things here to do with the patterns that may or may not be on there if you want to use a wood grain effect and so on that you can put on. It's entirely up to you. You can play around with those. When you're happy, click, app click Apply. Now, if you clicked OK, it will close the whole window, but we want to make another one. So while I've got my countertop beach up, I'm going to duplicate it again. This time, I'm going to make it into a marble top. So uh, again, I want to first thing is get rid of this so it's not a shared asset, back to zero change the name it's no longer going to be beach we'll call this one um, black marble or something like that and again the render appearance is ticked come into my appearance tab change it now from the beach and I want to find again under counter so countertop cherry that was gray marble same sort of idea I'll change the name in a moment now so click open and I'll go back into my identity and just make that gray marble so I don't confuse myself
Okay, just have a quick check, make sure I haven't done anything. Now, there's things on here like where it says class wood. I can change this to anything I want or, or I can write in myself. Um, it doesn't really matter at the moment. So long as it, you've got the name up here, you can recognize it. And as long as you've got the right render appearance, it will put the right thing on. It doesn't want to be stained because it's not wooden. Um, unfinished is probably the way it wants to be. And there's no relief pattern because it's not wood. So all of those things are done. Click apply again. Now I could keep doing this and make as many as I want. I'm just going to do two for now just to demonstrate how it works. Click OK there. And we're going to be ready now to actually put the, t the tops on. So I've already loaded in a family. But I'm, I, all I would do is come into component. I would choose um, load family. And I would pick the family I want. Mine's already in there. So I'm going to use this one M countertop island as my top. I'm just going to chuck it on any old way for now. now. Obviously I can take my time and position these later if I wanted to. I could do it in different views, but just to show for the example, I'm going to do that. Press escape to come out of that. And all I want to do, you can see at the moment, if I click on one and select it, it gives me the standard default, this M countertop island, and that's what it looks like. What I want to do is I want to make a couple of versions of this of my own. So I'm going to click edit type. And inside this edit type now, I'm going to duplicate. So a similar idea, but what I'm going to do is duplicate it and put my material in. So I'm going to call this one Countertop, and I'm going to keep the name the same, Countertop Beach. Say OK. And instead of having the material by the category, I'm going to choose on here, click, and it'll take me back to that materials palette. If you remember, I called them all Countertop, so I can actually search for them. If I type in Counter, it produces those two I've just made. I'm going to choose the Beach one and click OK. Okay, I don't need to do anything else in this one now. I can just click OK. And if I click off of this, you'll see now that that's made a beach. Now I could come on to the second one, choose it. And now that I've made this once, it'll be in my list. So if I go to my uh, countertop M, that's just off the screen for you, unfortunately. Uh, underneath where it says countertop M, there's a second one now called um, countertop beach, which I can click on. But I'd want to be able to have more than one. So I'm going to make one more of these things. So I'm going to click on, select one of them again go through the process again. Edit type, I'm going to give it a new name, I'm going to duplicate it first rather. This one I'm going to call Grey Marble. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing, I'm going to change the material that's represented and I'm going to search for what I put them into the materials and this time I want to go for the Grey Marble, click OK, click OK. Now if I click off I've got these two different versions so if I wanted to make both of them uh, marble I could change the type and put this one to be the marble one click off it if I want to make that one back into the other one I can click back here again and I can switch it to the beach one you can have as many as you want okay it's entirely up to you but if you want to have different surface finishes but with the same family you have to do this edit type and it creates more of them in fact I'll show you where they go when you go into your properties panel here there's one called families if I click on families and I go to I think it's under uh, casework I think is where they keep them yeah here we go and this is the one that I add countertop island so the default one was this okay and you can see underneath now and that's the beach one and that's the marble one and if I actually double click any of these it opens them back up again in this box so I could actually edit them more if I wanted to or I could even duplicate them from here but that's what you're doing you're basically editing the type and making more of them but you need to know that the material you want to put on the top is already in your materials library because you created it first okay good luck with that